Welcome to the BBZ channel, where we share valuable information on parenting, child development, and family health. In today's post, we will be discussing a common concern that parents of baby boys may face, undescended testicles. Let's dive in. Parents, let's talk about an important topic, undescended testicles in baby boys. If you've noticed that your baby boy's testicles haven't dropped, you're not alone. This condition, known as cryptorachidism, affects around 1 in 100 boys. But don't worry, there are options available. Let's explore them together. What are undescended testicles? Undescended testicles, also known as cryptorachidism, is a condition where one or both testicles fail to descend into the scrotum before birth. This condition is fairly common in newborn boys, with up to 1 in 25 boys being affected. In most cases, the testicles will descend on their own within the first few months of life. However, in some cases the testicles may not descend, requiring medical attention. Let's take a deeper dive into cryptorchidism. What exactly is cryptorchidism? It's a condition where one or both of a baby boy's testicles don't move into the scrotum before birth. This can happen to premature or full-term babies. While it might seem concerning, it's quite common and often resolves on its own. Let's dive into what parents should know. When to seek medical advice. When should you consult a doctor? If your baby's testicles haven't descended by the time he's six months old, it's a good idea to see a pediatrician or a pediatric urologist. Early diagnosis and treatment are key to preventing potential complications. Remember you're not alone. Your doctor is here to help. Treatment Options So, what are the treatment options? In many cases, the testicles descend on their own within the first year. If they don't, your doctor may recommend Hormone Therapy Injections of hormones like HCG can sometimes stimulate the descent. Surgery Orchiopexy This is the most common treatment. It's a simple procedure to move the testicles into the scrotum. Both options are safe and effective. Your doctor will help you decide the best course of action for your child. What are the options for parents? If your baby boy has undescended testicles, you may be wondering what your options are. Here are some of the most common options. 1. Wait-and-see approach. In many cases, doctors may recommend a wait-and-see approach, where they monitor the baby's condition and wait for the testicles to descend on their own. This approach is usually taken if the baby is born prematurely or if the testicles are close to descending. 2. Hormone therapy. If the testicles have not descended by the time the baby is six months old, doctors may recommend hormone therapy. This involves giving the baby hormones that stimulate the testicles to descend. 3. Surgery. If the testicles have not descended by the time the baby is 12 months old, doctors may recommend surgery. The surgery is usually performed under general anesthesia and involves making a small incision in the groin to locate the testicles and bring them down into the scrotum. Why is it important to treat undescended testicles? Undescended testicles can lead to a number of complications if left untreated, including infertility. If the testicles are not in the scrotum, they may not function properly, leading to infertility later in life. Testicular cancer. Boys with undescended testicles are at a higher risk of developing testicular cancer later in life. Hernia Undescended testicles can increase the risk of inguinal hernia, a condition where the intestines push through a weak spot in the groin. Post-treatment care Post-treatment care is crucial for your baby's recovery. After surgery, your doctor will provide specific instructions, but generally, you should. Monitor for signs of infection Look for redness, swelling, or fever. Keep the area clean. Follow your doctor's advice on bathing and diaper changes. Follow-up visits. Regular checkups ensure that everything is healing well. Your little one might be fussy, but with lots of love and care, he'll be back to his playful self in no time. Long-term outlook. What's the long-term outlook? Most boys with treated undescended testicles grow up healthy and without complications. However, there may be a slightly increased risk of fertility issues or testicular cancer later in life. Regular checkups and self-examinations can help monitor these risks. 
Always consult with your health care provider for personalized advice, support, and community. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. Many parents have faced similar challenges. Joining a support group or connecting with other parents online can provide valuable emotional support and practical advice. Sharing your experiences can make a big difference. Let's support each other. Final thoughts. Thank you for joining us on this journey of understanding and supporting our little ones with undescended testicles. Knowledge is power, and by staying informed, we can ensure the best possible care for our children. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to your health care provider. Undescended testicles are a common condition in baby boys, but with the right treatment, they can be easily resolved. If you are concerned about your baby's testicles, talk to your pediatrician, who can provide you with more information and guidance on the best course of action. Thanks for tuning in to the BBZ channel. We hope you found this information helpful. Until next time, take care.